All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our city zoo build, Tropical Wings Zoo. So we're back in TW gang. Last episode is linked above. Feel free to go and check that one out. It was a little bit of an update episode. Uh, but today I bring you a brand a new a build. And it's not an animal. It's not a habitat. But it was something that I was going to work on months and months ago. And I finally got it finished. So let's not stand on ceremony. Let's jump into today's episode. So we're here. We're at the entrance gang. Uh, I like to start here every single time even though you know what's coming but yeah we're starting here i am gonna say one thing i think it's really important that if you're a big fan of the series you stick with this today and you stick around for the what's happening next because we're going to be talking big big plans for the next couple of episodes basically and i need to talk about one of my other planet zoo series as a result of what's going to be happening so please 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 stick around for that you will see that the episode is time stamped anyway so feel free um to just kind of move along as you so wish but we are going to be moving over to the sea lion slash North America slash the Americas area. Well, that's what I'm calling it now. If you can hear any weird noises in the background, Rolo's having a moment. He always seems to have a moment, doesn't he, the little pup, whenever I sit down to record. But so yes, this is what we're going to be taking a good look at today this is the brand new restaurant that i said i was going to build ages ago um to kind of sit near the sea lions my initial plans was that it was going to overlook the sea lions it was going to be two-story that was just ridiculous it ended up being so big so i scaled it back and instead i've just gone with a two-story restaurant in a different way so we've actually got an upper level here and then because obviously the way our terrain moves in this area we have a lower level as well and i'm going to show you all this in a moment and kind of explain it all the roof isn't actually completely flat when you look at this from another angle you're going to see that actually there's a bit of shape to this building um, I tried to go with a few different designs. This is the one I just fell in love with the most. Um, there was one where I had a pitched roof. There was one that was more of a log cabin. But I just I needed something that was in the middle, you know. So it looked nice next to the sea lions, and it kind of felt like this was going to be moving on into the Americas area, basically. So yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at. So this area now is called the Americas, and the reason I'm doing this is if uh, you would have seen the kind of planning episode that I put out a couple of weeks ago go um we are doing kind of a north american area and we're doing kind of a south american area really really close to it now i was going to pair the european area and the north american area because i felt like they blended together a bit more but i'm not doing that anymore i'm actually going to blend the south america and north america area so that we've got this kind of americas we can include kind of central america as well uh, in that so i think this just works better basically for the area so this is the americas this is kind of the color scheme we're going with because obviously we're changing it up as we move around the zoo and this is kind of how a lot of the billboards in this area are going to look gang I'm absolutely in love with it. I really, really like the colour scheme. Really, really like the way the images have come out. And it just kind of like leans on what we've already been doing anyway. Um, I had a bit of a time making the logo for the skunk. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm not really happy with the skunk logo. But the raccoon and the prairie dog turned out pretty good. Anyway, we're going to take a good look at the restaurant. So... The initial plans, you will remember, was that we wanted this to kind of overlook the sea lions. And I gotta be honest, it doesn't really do that. You do get some like little viewing option and but but just not that many. But I'm not that I'm not that mad about it. We're probably gonna get some good viewing of some other animals, uh, as and when we kind of build them in. But um yeah, I've just kind of been updating planters and stuff around here as well. We're probably gonna be updating bin benches and all that sort of stuff, but I'm gonna talk about all of that in the what's happening next section gang. Um we had to kind of rework all of the path in and around here to kind of make the restaurant work. Um I've had to like dig areas out and fill areas in and kind of finish off the stairs. I've had to change this so we've got wheelchair access here as well. Um, and then you kind of come around this way. Now, this area here isn't finished. I will explain all. Um, I did kind of mention this in last episode that I was going to kind of do this. Um, but yeah, we kind of got this little open area here. 
I am considering maybe putting like a little balloon stall in somewhere if I can make it work. But um, because of where I put the plants and whatnot, it just felt really awkward wherever I put it in. But yeah, I might try and do that at a later date. But from this level up here, it actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it? This area, I'm going to say, is really starting to feel very much how I want all of Tropical Wings to feel. It feels so nice. Like, it, I really love the way it looks. And um, yeah, that's why we've got a big kind of episode ahead today more so for the what's happening next you know i know some people really they come to see the animals and the habs but this is all about kind of infrastructure today and this is what i was saying about the roof and as you can see we've kind of got this nice little uh, piece of roof that actually slants down into this kind of lower level basically gang we've kind of got this trellis that i've been working on it's not quite finished the trellis there's a few bits around here that are not finished it's more the outside stuff all of the inside is finished but yeah a bit more of the outside stuff isn't really finished i need to basically fill all this in with plant in but this was that open kind of green area that i was talking about that people can have a picnic and i might throw a couple of benches in in there as well but as you can see we've got some seat in um, around the edge um, but yeah um, I don't know if this is a little too open but I, I just didn't want to throw like loads and loads of like trees and planters all in front of the building I kind of wanted the flow to work quite nicely here through a few vending machines in as well um, we've got a bin we've got yeah we just got all of the all of the usual stuff basically we're going to be carrying this around so this is going to be here you're going to see when we have a look over there this is actually going to be a staff kind of access point here we're probably going to have like a, a fence kind of um you know around here somewhere um and then up here is actually going to be a viewing area because we're going to have an animal over here not sure what i'm going to do yet what animal it's going to be but we are going to have a slightly raised viewing section and then we're going to have like a lower one um i was kind of considering maybe the dull sheep um in here i think that might be quite cool you know and then we could kind of work the back of their habitat up to a slightly higher level and that could be where our wolf viewing section is and then that's going to be working to an even higher level and that's where the polar bears are going to be right at the back but that's all stuff for the very 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 far future for my friends um yeah we've got like a little sea lion sign in as well i kind of i've rejigged this a little bit i think it actually looks a lot nicer now and um yeah we kind of just put that in i thought that was kind of needed and yeah this is kind of uh one one good look at the building uh here and then there's another really cool look at the building um over here as well so some really kind of different angles and looks on how the the building you know kind of uh, looks but i really feel like it just fits in the area so nicely it really really does like um it's a big unit because i've actually used the proper restaurant in here as well as a couple of stalls so that's something um so that's that's kind of cool as well that i've been able to integrate a couple of things so that this is very much like a walk-in walk-out restaurant as well as kind of a, a go in and sit down kind of kind of deal basically so yeah let's dive on inside shall we and take a look at what is on offer so um doors windows all that good stuff done it slightly different on this building it's very kind of wood heavy this building i wanted it to feel like that way because of it being kind of in the north american zone um so uh so uh yeah i just kind of wanted to change it up a bit to be fair used this stone as well kind of um as you can see the kind of style in the building is it's lots of different materials but this stone is actually from the twilight pack i thought it worked really really nicely you can recolor it but that's just the the color it came um but yeah done done things a little differently for this and so we enter the restaurant and you're kind of met with this area first and foremost gang now i'm not sure if i need to put any more pictures on the walls i kind of um i've been i found a few and i was throwing them up on the wall and you know just a, a loose little kind of logo that i made and we got some like it's, it's very nautical themed basically and uh yeah i kind of be throwing pictures up on the wall i don't know if i need any more if you think i do let me know um but i've also kind of got these like pictures in the ceiling as well these like octopus murals now the restaurant was gonna the name was gonna be kind of octopus based but i couldn't think of anything so instead i've just gone with what we call a chip shop in the uk and it's a chippy uh, and i've just done like premium fish and chips basically because that's always what this was was going to be now i know that fish and chips isn't a thing in the game but we were always going to do something like nautical themed in here to try and work alongside the sea lions. So yeah, this is the kind of opening uh, part of the restaurant. You kind of come in this door. You're met with this beautiful kind of um, 
little logo and this mural in the ceiling. You've got this nice little seated area here in case you just come in and you grab a coffee or a soft drink or a sandwich or whatnot. It's like a nice little seated area there for you if you uh, if you want to take a sit down. We've uh, got more kind of like um, sort of premium restaurant seating in here. So this is kind of like a raised section in the restaurants. This is slightly higher up. Um, got like our little desk with our bins and whatnot little doors though it can all be emptied and i've you know just basically thrown some planters in here as well just to kind of liven it up and give it a nice bit of color as you can see i'm continuing that octopus design on in the ceiling um and it's all like like i say white and blue um with some nice grays and then just a few little wood tones here and there mainly with the windows and whatnot skirting balls that sort of thing but yeah the seats kind of all follow suit as well as you can see the restaurant very very busy like this restaurant um this is where everybody is coming there's so many people um you know choosing to wine and dine here which is uh, which is good to see um so yeah we've just got some crustacean photos up on the wall in here um but yeah, as you can see, that I, that I really like this bit because it's slightly raised. Yes, it's a custom floor as well. That was, um, I was going with a heron bone design, but there just isn't a small enough kind of wooden piece. That's kind of like one of the smaller pieces I could find. So I wanted to do like a heron bone type deal. And then I threw this little line in and yeah, it just started to really come alive. And um, I really, really like the way it looks, to be honest with you. I think it looks really, really decent. Um, but yeah, we've got all of our little items and whatnot on the side there. Um, so yeah, if we were to go this way, you then kind of head down the stairs to the slightly lower section in the restaurant. Obviously, there's a ramp for the disabled guests as well. We've got, the, got these uh, beautiful kind of lights up on the um, on the ceiling here. I really wanted to just change it up. Like I didn't want it just to use spotlights. I wanted to, I wanted the lights to kind of feel unique in some areas. So I've done my best to try and make that kind of a thing, you know. Um, and then we work our way down here and then if you were to go this way so the, what I've done with this project um, to try and disguise the restaurant is I don't really like the way the rest, rest the actual restaurants in the game work I think it's a very strange concept that they have to walk through that thing talk to a person in the window and then they kind of walk around disappear and they spawn into the seats I understand why they've had to design it that way I think that's kind of like an easy way for it to to kind of um, work out but I don't particularly like it so so what I've done is I've just disguised it all. So this is like a, a door to the kitchen area, which is for our staff. This is a staff door as well. Um, this would just go outside, which I will show you uh, at a later point. And then we've just got a door to the toilets, basically. And if you go through this door, that's what takes you to the entrance, basically. But I've just disguised it. I've just done it as like, this is the way to the toilets. And you're going to see there is another toilet door that actually goes to the toilets. We've got this window here. But I kind of, uh, I kind of see this as almost like a, a serving window, you know, like they could pass food to the, to the um, staff and they could take it out. I know that might seem a bit weird because that toilet door, I might need to move the toilet door back, and then just have a basic door there. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure, but I've left it in because trying to cover it up was more hassle than leaving it, basically. So yeah, I've just left it in. But it's all a case of using your imagination, really. Um, but yeah, if we head back this way into the restaurant, you then kind of get the the uh, desk. And as you can see, I've carried on this kind of nautical, kind of seafoody type um, theme um, above as well. Um, there you can see we kind of just put in like donuts and cupcakes in case you just wanted to pop up and get something like that. And then the kitchen, um, yeah, I've tried my artists to try and make it like really custom, basically, because... That there, beyond those windows, that is the restaurant. That's that's the unit that you're kind of given. And then I've just tried to do it so that we've kind of got this basic desk. Because I wanted it to feel like it was a sit-down gaff, but I also wanted it to feel like you could just pop in and grab a quick treat if you wanted to as well. Um, there are restaurants that are a bit like this. Like I always think about London Zoo's big restaurant. is uh, It's self-serve. You know, you don't sit down and get your food bought to you. It is self-serve. You've got to go up and collect your food. But it, I thought it was quite cool to kind of have that concept, but have like an open kitchen so you could kind of see what was going on. Um, I had to put all of these tiles on the wall. That tile piece that we got in the Africa pack, I believe, it actually came in handy. Um, I always forget that we've got these um, and they, they, they look absolutely beautiful. I'm actually thinking about going back and doing the um, the sunflower cafes um, 
tiling again because I think I'm going to use these tiles instead. Um, I think it will look a lot smarter uh, over there if I did this. And then there are a few uh, bits that I've kind of made like this. Uh, you will remember this freezer. That's from the Do It Better series. Um, we've got these tables. I just kind of added them in just to kind of take up a bit of floor space back here. And then if you come back this way, this is obviously the kitchen. The only thing I've really done is I've just brought the ceiling down quite far, put some lighting in. And then I put this kind of, uh, I put this wall in and then this little glass section. I kind of see a restaurant do this with an open kitchen. It left like a bit open so it could pass through through if they needed to. But it's kind of like this little glass section in front of uh, what's going on. So you can kind of still see what's happening, but um, you don't get all of the kind of like food splatter and whatnot kind of into the main part of the restaurant and then if you uh this is kind of just uh all holding up our our little thing at the front and it's all yeah you know me i just like to add those little bits of like realism and whatnot into my build so yeah that's kind of like the um service and this is what i was saying about there's another toilet door so there is another one here and then if you go through this it actually takes you to some toilets so i did put a toilet block in here as well because um it was something we were actually lacking over here we there's, there's the, the nearest toilet block to this is over near the um the uh the cranes basically so yeah it's quite a way away and then uh the seated area down here as you can see it, it, this is what i love it's just this upper level it looks so cool it really really does and then obviously this ceiling is lower than this ceiling because this is a lower part of the building so yeah i had to be like really clever about the way i built all this out um but yeah, we just done some like basic walls here, put some seating in, like a little desk area with, um, you know, some bits and bobs on. And if we go around this way, we kind of got a very different seated area. Um, I really wanted to add like lots of different vibes basically to the restaurant. So, you know, we just got these pull up stalls with these little, um, with these like little tables that are like into the wall and then drop down lights over here, um, along with some spots. But yeah got some drop down lights over there and then this is like the front of the building basically so you can see all the air vents and the lighting and um all of the windows and the doors and stuff and then again we've got another little area over there with a few more stalls and then we've got um a bunch of seating in here as well and this one's like really really cool really enclosed and uh yeah you come in here and you've got kind of like little desk uh, areas either side with um with all the chairs and whatnot i think there's like 15 i think there ended up being 15 table and chairs in here i tried the other types of chairs and they just didn't really work i really really love the booths i, I think like if anyone wants to make an american style like burger joint in the game you could do it you really could because these these are absolutely amazing i really hope in the future though we get some some more different table design like i would love tables that are like half and half and half so you get half booth and then you get a couple of chairs and i would love ones with like small wooden tables with four chairs around it because i think that you know if you're trying to make something a bit more classy that would look amazing so i really hope we get something like that at a later date but yeah that's the restaurant's inside gang and i really feel like it came together wonderfully like i really really love this restaurant and i think it really fits i think the color scheme inside it really comes together um really easy as well like this all right I, I took longer to build this than i wanted to obviously i wanted this out earlier this week fridays is usually my upload day for planet zoo but um we run over by a couple of days but it is what it is we got it done but i think you know sometimes just spending a little bit more time to really hammer home all the details make sure you get it all you know exactly how you want it is definitely definitely well worth it um also there's no clipping through the walls because i've used um all of the items you know like all of the barrier items to stop that happening so they do just walk through doors and you know they actually walk where they're supposed to walk because the whole thing is covered in path because it's the only real way to do it and make it work in my opinion uh really make it work properly so i, I basically covered the majority of the blueprint in path and then just put barriers in where they were needed. I think this 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 view of the building is oh, it's so good. I absolutely love it. Once we get all the planting in here and we start filling all this this space in over here, potentially with an animal or something, it's going to look amazing. It really, really is. It's gonna it's really gonna look great. I love that you can see all the vents and stuff on the roof again. Carrying on you know doing the roof design as I have been, I just think it looks so much better. It really does. Like you know. I've just built this and I then started like looking at this. I'm going to redo this. I'm, I'm going to completely redo it. I'm going to basically make that 
a, a small version of this. I'm going to keep the blueprint. I'm not going to change the size, but I'm going to basically do it so it looks more like that. Um, but I am going to change it. There's there's going to be a lot of change in this zoo. And some of you are probably sitting there thinking, Jesus Christ, Dan, you've been building this over a year and a half. Stop deleting and changing things. You've got lots to build. But that's just, that's just what happens. You get better at the game and then you want to change things. But yeah, if you go through here, this is the little staff access area, by the way, gang. So there is like a ramp down into the restaurant, obviously with your bins and all your rubbish and whatnot. Um, easy way to kind of transport stuff. Kind of got the gates there. Um, you the the staff can actually use this so i just wanted to put like a little quick route in for our staff if they needed it so they can actually use this and then um, there's another little pathway that goes all the way around the back of the building just in case any maintenance work needs doing and then like i said it's going to come out around there basically gang i had to take this um wall slightly higher um as you can see i finally put that guard rail in i'd been saying i was gonna put in for forever but i have no, i've done it now um and then yeah we just done this little bit of wall just ever so slightly higher but this is another thing i think these fences look so much cleaner than the fences i was building early on that there needs to be a lot of change there really really does but yeah we've just got the one bin in here at the minute i probably need to add a bunch more like rubbish and boxes and all that sort of stuff but yeah just for now i just wanted to get the project uh this bit of the project finito so yeah that's uh that's why that hasn't been done yet but um yeah i think it looks really cool i think it really fits the area i think once we get that little playground in here as well which i'm um, planning on doing it will look really really cool um i just basically i i wanted to get the restaurant done wanted to present it to you wanted it to be finished it is finished let me know what you make of it in the comment section right gang so we are into the what's happening next section of the episode now and basically what i want to talk to you about is um i have had a few requests for a, uh, a another zoo tour of tropical wings um it has actually been quite some time since i've done one um but i'm going to be really really honest with the people that are asking i don't think the zoo is actually in a state that i would be happy to give a tour of it and the reason i say that is there's lots of stuff that i've been saying that i'm gonna do or i want to do and i just haven't got around to doing like i want to go over all the buildings and redo all the roofs i want to make them look better i want to take away some of the clunky fences and replace them with you know the de more delicate stuff that looks a lot more realistic and this is the issue because i was going for a realistic build but when we started the project some of these items weren't available in the game i've just not been able to do it you know like i kind of use um, I, I, I really I use the stable as a really good example of how I want the internal sort of ungulate buildings to look like this this and the and the and the um, and the buffalo and I really just I really really want to make them look so they're a bit more realistic and a bit more delicate and just you know this there's items that I was using before that are so chunky and they just look wrong, you know. And I'm going to give you an example of this as well. So that you can kind of see. So you've just seen what that one looks like. Now if we were to come over here. I'm still absolutely in love with the habitat. Absolutely no problem with it. Really like the little viewing area. Like I have no problem with any of it. Um, I have a slight issue with these fences. Because I don't think this is a very metallic look. So that's something that I might be doing. But it's uh, it's a problem. The windows are an issue. I think they're just... I just don't like the way they look now. And when you come inside... This is what I mean by the metal pieces. They just don't... They just don't look great, do they? They just don't look great, in my opinion. And I think that there's a lot of work that kind of needs to be done on this project to bring everything up to standard. Now that we've got the pieces to be able to do what I want to do. I have no issue with using those pieces on the roof. Like, I really don't. I actually think they kind of work okay in the roof. But I think for this, I would rather use some slightly slimmer pieces and make stuff look a bit better, you know? Um... I actually think this doorway needs to be made slightly higher as well because I never took into consideration their their horns. So that's another thing that might need to be touched up. Now we've got all of the water pipes and whatever, I could probably add a little area in here with all of that. Like there's there's lots of stuff that wasn't finished in a lot of the, of these projects and I need to basically go back and finish everything. I need to go back and really rework a lot of stuff in the project. Um 
And I think that's that's essentially what I'm going to be doing uh, for the next uh, week or so. Um, I want to go literally. Go, I want to sc- go over the zoo. I'm literally going to start at the entrance. And I'm going to move through the zoo really slowly, and I'm going to try and update everything I can. The issue I've got with the entrance is I would love to update the entrance, but for whatever reason, this whole where this whole red area is, I can't touch it. The minute I try to edit it, it freezes the game and it kicks me out. I, I don't know what it is. Um, it's a bloody nightmare, though. I will say that much because I wanted to add plants in here and I can't. I wanted to make this smaller. I can't. I can't. literally can't edit the, the flamingos area over here. Um, and it's a pain. Like I can, edu- I can edit all the fence like here. But the minute I try to work here, because I wanted to change all of their notice boards as well, I can't do any of that. And I, I, and I don't know what it is. Generally, I have no idea what has glitched the game out uh, in that area. But yeah, I, I can't touch it. Um, but yeah, I want to basically work my way through the zoo, apart from the entrance area, unfortunately. And um, yeah, just redo it. You know, like I was redoing this area, wasn't I? And I look at it and I look at the bits I've redone and I think they look so much better. Like I look at all of this with this new fence in and it just looks great. It really, really does. Like I'm absolutely loving it. And um, I need to basically go through the whole zoo and do all of that. Um, that's strange. That bit of path there isn't quite joined up, is it? That's very strange. I need to go and have a look at that. Uh, but yeah, I want to go through all of this. Finish off the planting, finish off fences and uh yeah i want to go in here like if i dive in here i'll show you what i meant about the the tiles in here look at the tiles they just look a bit weird don't they so i think we might have to redo those um but yeah there's just so much stuff gang that i haven't finished and before i can do a zoo tour and to be honest before i move on and i do anything new in this project i need to finish all of the bits that aren't done i need to do all of the all of the banners i need to do all of the information boards basically we're going to be doing it together in streams hopefully this week coming um but i'll also be doing it in my private time so yeah that's essentially what's coming next rather than me you know i know i said i was going to like really crack on with the north american area because that's what i'm inspired to do after i've finished this i'm definitely going to carry on the north american area because i'm really enjoying it but i need to do this what i will say is i'm also going to be working on the do it better series to try and bring that back because it's been a few months since the last episode and i need to get some balance again where planet zoo is concerned there's lots of content on the channel at the moment i'm constantly working on things but I've pre-recorded so much of the other stuff that I can really, for the next... I could probably, for the next eight weeks, really concentrate on Planet Zoo. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to get this project, you know, really, really dialed in. I want to get everything done. I want to really get this zoo looking like a million bucks, basically. Um, I really, really do. Uh, you know, something else as well that is really bothering me is this fence. I just don't like these fences anymore. I really don't. I just think they just look like the colour of them and it's the materials, I think. Like this this is meant to be a, a metal beam, right? But it doesn't feel very metallic. And then I was talking to Caesar and he said in the European pack they added this piece called the marquee the marquee beam or something. And I was looking at it and it's oh it, it's so nice. And so yeah, I just need to go in and I just need to do so much work. Basically <laughs> to get the project back where I want it. Um you know, there's some stuff I won't be changing, you know, like this. I don't particularly like this doorway, but I think it works. So, you know, I don't think there's any need to change that. Um, you know, like this door as well. I think this door works. There's some doors that work. There's some doors that don't. So, yeah, there's just going to be a lot of shimmying, basically, gang. But that's today's episode. I don't know if that was that exciting. I hope it was. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. And so there you go, my friends, we're done and dusted for another episode of Planet Zoo. Um, that was more really about, look at the restaurant, isn't it beautiful? And yeah, we're kind of pausing on anything new and we've got to get things in shape. And uh, that's basically what we're going to do. Once everything is done and in shape, we'll be back and we'll be doing zoo tours and an update episode and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I really, really feel like because... I know where the project's going now. I'm really inspired to build in it. I really want to carry on. I really want to get as much done as possible over the next six months. So, uh, yeah, that's that's why I'm doing this now, rather than leaving it right to the end and then having no clue where to start. So, my friends, I'm done. Do all the usual stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Check that, that description box if you want to join the Discord or follow my show, socials. But, um, yeah, I nearly said socials like Sean Connery then, didn't I? Socials. Anyway... <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, before I chat any more waffle, stay safe, stay humble. See you all real soon.